This is what our current t-shirt is featuring. The TMP Shark Cigar Dynamite Jetpack Attitude. I love it. The boys came up with it. They're like, Dad, come here and check this out. We got a new idea for a patch. It's a shark. I was like, that's cool, man. I just love it. They did it in Adobe Illustrator, man. And now our t-shirts, like I said, are, are using that logo. Website at the top, if you're interested, check it out because they sell out and we don't order for a long time after that. Help is limited. Man, sometimes our interest is as well <laughs> in, in merchandising. Uh, and sometimes, here's a nice transition for you. My interest in certain knives is limited. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm going to show you two, two knives from a collaboration between Ruger and CRKT to, to kind of illustrate the point. I will review the knives. I'll give them a super fair review. And then I'm interested in what you guys think as well. First up, to represent the entire line, we've got the CRKT Ruger going heavy designed by Bill Harsey. Good looking blade. Really good looking blade, actually. And then I have... Where did it go? Oh, here it comes. The follow-through, designed by Lurch. Both CRKT produced and available, I think, on Ruger's website. What do you guys think of the knives, initially? I can hear what you're saying right now. Uh, you don't like them. <laughs> What? Uh, let me review and let's come, let's rubber band back to that question. And that we're going to talk about a very interesting concept that I don't think you guys, uh, I don't know, think about much. You may know it, but I, I'm going to spell, spell out kind of some marketing stuff to you, and it's pretty interesting. First, the blades. I actually love the looks of this one. The CRKT, it's, it has kind of a dumb name, they call it Going Heavy. Uh, it's a, an appropriate name because the dang knife weighs 10.2 ounces. Yeah, that's heavy. And where did the package go? Because it's kind of funny. Uh, I bought this at a sporting goods store and it was already opened. Apparently the guy who bought it didn't like it either because he took it back. But they said it weighs 5.8 5 ounces. No, that's wrong. It's 10.2. Uh, that's because it has a very thick milled out granted aluminum handle and it has stainless steel nesting for the liner lock on this side okay we get that but it's heavy uh, i did say i like the looks and there's a reason for it and it goes something like this it reminds me of my very beloved tactical ranger by lone wolf very collectible knife at this point i think this is a very big knife let's stack it up against the going heavy about the same, actually it's identically sized, more or less the blades. A uh, little bit difference in handle, but this is only 8.4 ounces and it features a superior steel in S30V. It was a very expensive knife when I bought it way back in 2005. Both of these knives and I think the entire CRKT Ruger collaboration uses uh, a very good Chinese steel, 8CR13 MOV. Good steel, I've always said I've liked it. Good edge, can rust, stuff we've talked about. Uh, also in the line that I'm not going to show you are other ones with, uh, <laughs> and this will get some of the marketing discussion I'll have, with kind of interesting names. Uh, Crack Shot, another one's called All Cylinders, another one's called Two Stage, and again, this is the follow through. Okay, so super quick back to the going heavy. I know you guys want, want to know what I'm going to say. Uh, it actually locks up very nicely. It has a very smooth action on it. Does it, it seems like it would come out with more authority than that. I mean, make a noise, but I just think it's how the milled out aluminum is. It just kind of creates muffled acoustics, I think. Single-sided adjustable pivot point. There is some jimping on there, and it's pretty functional. Dual thumb studs. I really love the blade shape because it's Harzy. I love his blade shapes. They're classic drop points, and these two are almost identical in shape, don't you think? Look at the ramps. Few differences. The thumb studs, uh, it's very cylindrical here. A little bit of a volcano issue on the Tactical Ranger, if I'm getting the name right. I, I just love his blade shapes. Uh, bead blasted, stone washed in this one. Blade centering on the going heavy. Perfect, actually. Retention, the detent. 
pretty excellent as well. Uh, no clip. Did you notice that? That's because it's so big, since you're going heavy, I guess, that they want you to use this, the included belt sheath. Would I use this knife? No, I wouldn't. It's just too heavy. I, I can count on two hands of times that I've carried this one, actually. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 20 times over the life of this knife I've carried it. Uh, because there's other ones I'll usually opt for, and just because they're in a bracketed review, um, kind of like this one. You know, Cold Steel Voyager and Tanto. I, I would carry this one over the, the Tactical Ranger, much more so of the go, going heavy. And it's thick. Look how thick this knife is. I think that is a mimmed backspacer. I could be wrong. You could take the knife apart to service it. It's a good looking blade though. Kind of has a bally song look to it in the milling of the handle. Probably 6061 aluminum handle. But I think it's a good looking blade. If this had a clip and it was thinner and it weighed like 8 ounces, I would be all over it. Even with 8CR 13 MOV steel, I'd be like raving about this knife because the price point is decent it's only 80 bucks it's just three ounces too heavy for me and then we'll take a quick look at the follow-through by lurch i love the vef serrations i've always said that they're cool they're functional they're sharpenable the edge on this is pretty excellent let's check it on the going heavy by the way pretty excellent actually uh i don't dig this that's just me the style preference uh, the blade shape is fine stone washed it kind of reminds me of price point kershaw's this one does it's a flipper design there's your early lock up on the liner lock going heavy right here your timing action on all these price point knives is actually pretty good and i shouldn't say price point but a lot of the value kershaw's deploy super fast like this one they lock up lock up flawlessly most of them like this one will have a single point adjustment on a value blade. There's no jimping on this one. What is that material there? I think that's an aluminum backspacer actually. No, no skeletonizing of the liners. This one actually uh, better weight. It's 5.2 ounces. Decent pocket clip here. Is it reversible? Yep. So it would be a good ambi knife. Zytel construction. And if you look at the other ones, the crack shot, all cylinders in two stage, they'll have the same type of materials. There will be some variances on how the knives are put together. The two stage looks interesting. Sorry, I don't have one on the table to show you. Okay, so uh, decent knives. Would I buy them? Mm, I think I already know the answer. No, I wouldn't. And here's what I was going to say, getting to the value discussion. If you go to the website and look and the names and the approaches of how these knives are put together. It's a collaboration between two very popular brands and you look at them as a knife guy and you go, oh, maybe you love these knives. I don't know, but I'm going to assume most of y'all will look at them and go, oh, that's not a knife I would buy. And the reason is, and this is the crux of the discussion, is they're not really intended for you. Ta-da! These knives, uh, collaboration knives, often are intended for people who are not into knives but who are into the brands specifically Ruger. So maybe they go to the website that Ruger has and they're buying an accessory, a magazine, maybe a stock for the gun, and then they bounce in, they look at the knives, they go, oh, Ruger brand a knife. And maybe they've heard of the brand C CRKT as well. And they go, that is pretty cool. And they look at the price, they go, 80 bucks, I can do 80 bucks. And so they buy the knives. I call them add-on knives. They're not designed for knife aficionados. They're designed for people who are going to do an impulse purchase. You'll see the same thing on the pegs at Lowe's, uh, department stores like uh, Walmart. Those are add-on blades. Some are high quality, but most of them are price point blades designed to be an impulse purchase. Ta-da! There's the, I don't know, the crux of the whole thing. Because uh, most knife guys want more and they're willing to pay more for the exact feature set that they want. Maybe it's a steel, maybe it's a weight, maybe it's a clip, maybe it's the looks, but it's not. Um, how successful do I think the CRKT Ruger knives are going to be? Uh, do you want me to tell you what everyone wants to hear or do you want me to be honest? Because if I'm honest, uh, I would say they'll probably disappear in a couple years. I don't think they'll sell that well. I could be totally off. 
for one, the competition is very stiff uh, at this price point, which is going to run about sixty to ninety dollars for the Ruger CRKT line. I mean, you can get a lot of blades for that money, especially super slim spider codes. Uh, spider codes. Now, this isn't planned. I always this is my EDC today. Still an Endura Hat 40, and no, this is not a forty or fifty dollar knife. The steel is expensive. But you can get a, a, a VG10 Endura in that price range, you know. And so going up against this, a knife guy for an EDC blade, we didn't talk POU, but this would be an EDC. This would be a, I, I don't know, outdoors blade, but it's a liner lock, so I could beat the crap out of that mechanism. It would fail. A tactical blade, maybe. No, but it doesn't have a clip. I don't know really what the POUs are. Uh, but this is EDC and tactical blade. Uh, I mean, most guys would opt to get, a, you know, again, the color they want, steel they want, exact feature set they want, and for the same price. There you go. Uh, like I said, my favorite between just these two is the going heavy. I don't like the name, obviously. Uh, I would love to see a very lightweight version of it with a clip, thin, and basically give knife guys, not just add-on purchasers of the brand, an option to this beautiful beautiful Harzi design tactical blade you know at the same weight 8.5 ounces and maybe upgrade the steel then you have a winner you would uh, but tell me in the comments do you care that it's 10 roughly 10 and a half ounces and would you carry it from from my gear checks I don't see guys carrying big blades ever I can't even think of one so, well that one time that cop had he had a freaking huge uh, cold steel <laughs> it's like a spot at a spot at XL but most guys don't uh, that's it. Tabletop review. CRKT Ruger Knives. Bye.